Getting sand blasted. Oh, getting blasted by sand. You have to sing also about who is the super villain. Right now, I'm a cowboy and an Indian. So, for my movie about traveling around the world, I need to have a bad guy. Yeah, you need to have a bad guy. <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> Michael, who's from Germany, took a liking to us, so he invited uh, us onto his boat along with all of our friends, and we had a large uh, party on his catamaran. It was a beautiful, beautiful boat, and uh, we we loaded up as many people as we could. We went from hostel to hostel. We didn't really even know these people, and we told them to just hop on. Just, uh, you know, enjoying the view here. It's really nice water. Here we are in Panama, checking out the mangroves in the islands. The only problem is about 100 feet in the air. I am at the top of a 52 foot catamaran. It cost me zero dollars. It was actually free. I would have spent more money drinking a coffee in Vancouver than I would right now. After Bocas del Toro, we split up. I went to go uh, to Coronado to go visit an old friend, John Azzolini, uh, and uh, Alex went to go visit his cousin in Boquete. And she was headfirst in a bit of a romance with an Argentinian pizza chef that she had met. So I stayed with them in this house that he, I'm not sure if he actually was allowed to stay there or if he was just squatting. So I think that she was having a I know a bit of an adventure of her own. <laughs> Definitely had lowered her cost to the bare minimal on a daily basis. We had totally different experiences. I was in a vacation uh, city and it was really, really stunning. Uh, we were on a, uh, a curve along the coast called Billionaire's Row where some of the richest people in Panama had these, not even houses, they had hotels. So I was there for three days and then I left and went to uh, Coronado and met up with Mike. There we spent about a week editing with a, a gentleman named John Azzolini. Got a ton of work done. 
and then we took off down to Panama City for a night. Uh, very, very uh, chic and clean. Uh, Panama City is very modern itself. It reminds me of, uh, you know, a, a Western uh, modern city like New York. And I was really, really impressed with Panama City, actually. It's a world-class city. Uh, and from there, we stayed one night, and then we left and went to San Blas Islands. We did a four-day, three-night trip on a speedboat through all the beautiful little islands in the San Blas. If you look at a map, um, Central and South America is split in between the, the Darien Gap. It's not a safe place to go to because there's uh, apparently some some drug cartels have, have hid in there after the, the revolution in Colombia and also the jungle is pretty dangerous. So as a result, you can either fly to Colombia or you can uh, go through the San Blas Islands and we decided to take the San Blas tour. We went with San Blas Adventures, which is a speedboat option. If you have to cross the Darien Gap, that's definitely the way to do it. You can pay the same amount for a flight that's gonna take you two hours or you can do four days, all inclusive, food, adventure, everything. And it's, it's really quite the life experience. Welcome to the Sand Blast. Welcome to Paradise. Just don't make love to my coconut tree. Climbing the coconut tree. Coconut tree, coconut tree. It's just me and this coconut tree. It's not even a coconut tree. <laughs> oh, this thing could produce a nut. I gave you Paradise. And then you made love to the coconut tree. being on a stranded island or just being on a tropical island of any sort this is the spitting definition this is like hitting every stereotype like lush palm trees sun there's tons of small islands just placed everywhere randomly it's, it's really unbelievable like, take a look it was 375 dollars it was money well spent we got to spend as much time as we could on the islands with the local people. <laughs> uh, we had beautiful lobster and seafood dinners every night, um, and we got to, to meet these, these people from all around the world who were with us on the trip. Uh, the staff were incredible, they really took care of us, and, um, and yeah, we spent a lot of time on these remote islands. I've never been in such a remote location and met people who really weren't a part of the outside.
Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Ah! Oh. Panama. Sí? Ah, sí. One of those trips where you're completely detached from society. There's absolutely no internet. There's no, no computer access. They're just, you know, it's you and Mother Nature for four days. So we're off to Colombia now where we're going to go check out um, um, Cartagena. It's a beautiful coastal city. So we just got to keep moving. We're now finally finished Central America and we get to move on to South America. So here we go. Went to go to the toilets, check it out. This is Caribbean living, my friend. That's a good looking hole. <laughs> <laughs> 